Hello, in this video I'm going to show you a game in my Wyoming, which is the Tier 4 American Battleship, and it's the first of the standard battleships that the Americans get in game. Um, it's called Standard because it had a top speed of 21 knots, which the Americans would decide would be the standard speed of the ships in their navy, um, which you might recognise is a bit slow. And unfortunately it's going to be a speed you'll be stuck with for quite some time if you're going up the American battleship line. The advantage that the Wyoming gets though is that it gets, well it gets a couple of advantages really. In terms of maneuverability we've talked about, you know, it's slow, but the advantage of it is it turns very well. It's got a turning radius of under 500 meters, which means that, well you can quite easily dodge shell fire and incoming torpedoes. Maybe not easily, but you can do it. But, well, at the same time, it's got a rather shift time that's quite long, so you've got to kind of plan your maneuvers in advance. And that also includes the speed. Um, because 21 knots is quite slow, you've got to be in the right part of the map, because if you're in the wrong part of the map, it's going to take you a very long time to get somewhere useful. See, we've spotted the first enemy ship, but it's at, well, too long a range. The Wyoming's range is actually alright. It's 14 kilometers when fully upgraded, which is a bit less than its Japanese equivalent, but usually alright. But the American battleships are more brawlers rather than snipers, so yeah, I tend to just be closing the distance with the enemies as much as I can. You can see here I'm kind of hitting in between A and B. It's because I was originally going to go capture A, then I realized that was kind of stupid because if I go to A it's going to take me a very long time to get to B and I'll basically never arrive at C. So it's kind of better to go into the middle of the map here. And we're just trying to see if we can get some shots on at our enemies here. I thought we might be able to hit that St. Louis, but it's just out of our range. So instead we're going to fire away at this Phoenix. And I have high explosive loaded. Um, just because I thought I might bump into a destroyer and high explosive useful for that. But the Phoenix also has very light armor, so I just kind of kept it loaded for dealing with the Phoenix. And you see I've fired off my first bunch of shots. From the front and rear guns, the two middle turrets actually have a quite narrow firing arc, so I wasn't able to bring them to bear. Here yeah, I've got one of them going. And the shells fall short but it looks like the phoenix is about to get torpedoed anyway. If not, it's not going to last very long anyway. Oh, survived that torpedo, but I don't think it's going to survive all that gunfire, no. But I still took two shots at it because why not? Well, there's a good reason why not, there's an enemy battleship in front of me. So I order my gunners to switch to armor piercing once I've fired off this volley. And I turned broadside on to try and get all my guns to bear, except for the two that were reloading. And now, firing, um, switching to armor piercing. You see, I managed to get three shots. I might also notice I'm actually trying to turn my nose to, or my bow towards the enemy ship. That's both to close the distance with it and to also minimize my profile while I'm reloading. You can see right now I've switched back because my guns are almost reloaded, so I want to get broadside onto it again. I kind of didn't time that very well though, because my guns are loaded right now, and most of them can't fire on the enemy ship. And unfortunately I'm also turning broadside on at the time when it's firing at me, which means they can penetrate its, my armor quite easily. Fortunately it doesn't, I think it was firing high explosive. But I managed to get three hits and do a tiny bit of damage, but not a lot. And then again, I turn my bow towards the enemy, the enemy partly to avoid that island, but also to minimize my profile. And again, start switching back to bring my guns to bear. And we've all reloaded, but my center turrets aren't on target yet. And all but one turret fired then, but I figured that was good enough. Got seven hits, did a fair bit of damage. Again, turning my bow towards the enemy. Distance now is really close, but we don't get to use that to our advantage since the enemy battleship takes a lot of torpedoes and dies. And now... 
Well, the game's still lead. fairly even. We've captured A and B, but the enemy still has a lot of ships left. We see here a Miyogi, which is the Japanese tier 4 battleship. And I'm firing my guns in a volley because it's slightly more accurate at long ranges. And I get one, two, three hits and a Citadel hit, which did 8,300 damage. So that was a good start to this engagement here. And because the Miyogi's not firing at me just yet, I actually don't bother turning, except to bring my guns to bear, just because well, I don't have any shell fire to dodge or minimize. And I want to keep my aim on this ship since the last volley was so good. Here we go again. Only three hits, but still did a fair bit of damage. Now I've turned towards the enemy because I want to actually close the distance a bit. Um, basically the shorter the range is, the better it is for me. And I also see that there are now torpedo bombers coming at me. So I'm turning again to bring my guns to bear. And the Miyogi's changed its speed, which makes it a bit more difficult. But I have a guess at what I think will be a good spot to hit it, and I get a few hits, and another citadel hit, and I actually managed to destroy it. And now I want to turn into these torpedo bombers to try and make it difficult for them to hit me. There's an enemy cruiser over there as well, and I'm also presenting my bow to it. I order my AA gunners, such as they are, to fire away at the torpedo bombers. Uh, the Wyoming's actually got probably the most powerful AA armament at tier 4. But it's still not very good just because all your guns, of which there are a lot, are only short range. Unfortunately that torpedo spread actually managed to fool me a bit. If I had to keep going straight I would have dodged them all. But when well, it was an old pattern and I didn't predict it properly, so I took one on the bow. I was able to repair the flooding quite quickly and heal myself up, so not quite as good as new, but still pretty alright. Anyway, time to deal with this cruiser, so I turn myself broadside on, and because it's a St. Louis, I figure I can keep firing armor-piercing shells at it. And it looks like it's running ground, so I just fire straight at it. And... Six hits, 8,000 damage. I was a bit worried that the angle of the ship there would mean that my shells would bounce off, but apparently that wasn't the case. So again, I'm turning towards the St. Louis. Um, it's not actually firing at me, but I'm turning towards it because I want to close the distance. And now turning back to bring all my guns to bear again. And aiming. Guns are ready. Just fire a broadside. And then start turning towards it again. I only get one hit though. The dispersion on these guns, they're not fantastic, especially when you're firing broadsides like that. But firing broadsides also gives you the most time to manoeuvre and focus on closing the distance with the enemies or minimising your profile for uh, incoming fire. So I fire broadsides fairly often with this, especially if I'm under fire. Let's just get, bring my guns around again. And this time I'm firing in volley, actually mainly because I missed so many shots last time. I get 4 hits, 6000 damage. Find my last turret which didn't quite make it round in time. They both miss. And now again, trying to close the distance. The Quachi next to me, you can see he's on fire. It's been taking the brunt of the St. Louis's return fire, but it's still in a pretty good spot, health-wise. Okay, here we go again. There's a fair bit of damage here, about 6,000 by the last turret. And it gets the kill. Enemy cruiser destroyed. So that's my second kill, and I've actually managed to get 39 shots on target already, which is pretty good for a battleship. Well, I haven't actually taken much damage myself. Problem now is there are uh, well, it's still a three on three. There's this battleship here, the Kawachi, which fire away it. So we're doing pretty all right for this engagement because it's a two on one, but there's an enemy destroyer somewhere and also an enemy aircraft carrier. And our friendly aircraft carrier is, well, supporting us as best as it can, but it's quite a way away and isolated should the enemy destroyer find it. And of course, us two in the battleships are also at risk from that destroyer since we don't have any cruisers or destroyers to protect us or spot it for us. 
and that enemy battleship has just gone behind the island so I figure I'm gonna have to go and meet it on the other side but my guns take a long time to turn around so I'm aiming over to my port in the hope that actually the port is at start but I've completely forgotten to my left because I figured that's where they're going to have to be eventually but as you can see they're not actually going to get round quickly enough but my front turrets are ready to fire I turn towards the battleship to try and minimize my profile and angle my armor as best I can but it kind of doesn't matter because that battleship's obviously firing high explosive it sets me on fire but I put that fire out quickly and then turn back around to try and bring my rear turrets to bear and at this point kind of angling doesn't matter since high explosive shells they don't bounce and all they've got to do is hit me so here's my, well not a broadside I managed to get one citadel hit and I also managed to get the high caliber award which means that I've taken 20% of the enemy's hit points I was manoeuvring a bit there to try and close the distance, but you know, I remember it's kind of not that important if it's firing high explosive at me. So instead I'm focusing on just keeping my guns on target. And here we go. And another citadel hit means that battleship is sunk. And there's the enemy destroyer. It is capping A right in front of me. So I switched to high explosive, and unfortunately, I basically think I've got to go chase down this destroyer. Um, I say unfortunately because destroyers are quite dangerous if you're in a battleship. But, well, there's an enemy aircraft carrier around somewhere, but I haven't seen its aircraft in a while. So this is probably the biggest threat to us. Uh, the advantage we have is that we're hit on points, but the enemy actually hold all three of the cap circles. So if we don't get into the cap soon, or destroy the enemy ships, we're actually going to lose this, despite our advantage. If you see me, I'm turning in, because I figure I've got to capture A. The other battleship, the Kalachi that was on fire earlier, is heading into B. And hopefully once we capture those two, it'll be a pretty straightforward win for us. But as you can see, I'm detected, so the enemy destroyer can still see me. But I have no idea where it is. Oh, and the enemy aircraft carrier has just been spotted, but it's way on the other side of the map. And I say its aircraft aren't anywhere, so maybe it's run out. You see me here, I'm changing my course. It's just because I'm assuming there are torpedoes coming at me. And occasional course changes will be sufficient to throw off the aim of torpedoes fired at maximum range. Uh, the downside is, it's not getting me into the cap circle any quicker. But we've almost finished capturing B, and the enemy destroyer was, well, a long way away, so I didn't actually have anything to fear from torpedoes. But the downside is, it's going to be really hard to hit this guy at this range. So I'm kind of taking guesses and just firing my forward turrets, since I'm mainly focusing on getting into A as quickly as I can at this point. Of course, no hits so far. And just trying to guess again where we should lead it. That might be a bit close. The enemy is about to yep, that's going to end up way behind it. Oh, not too far actually, but way short actually. This is my second turret. It looks a bit better, but still landed short. Okay. Well, we're capturing A, about 75% there. And... Uh, aim. Fire my guns. And... Well, you might wonder why I'm not shooting right now. It's because I actually just got a phone call. So the last 30 odd seconds of this game are going to be a bit boring, because I'm just going to be sitting here talking on the phone. But as you see, we're about to win, we've captured A and B, and we're basically almost there on points. 982. Oh, come on, quickly, 988. 
All my guns are reloaded, but I'm still not firing because I'm not really paying attention. But luckily that destroyer didn't kill our aircraft carrier and we have just managed to win the game. And I did pretty alright, as you see there, 2000 experience is pretty good. 46 regular hits and 4 citadel hits, did a lot of damage, sunk 3 enemies. Uh, best of my team, which is kind of what you'd expect for that result. And as you see, a fair bit of damage, 71,000, almost double my hit points. And well, yeah, that's the Wyoming. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time.